And we're going to go into chapter 1.5. So let's go to 1.5 on page 29, 1.5. And we will do adding integers. Okay, adding integers. Let's go to page 29 to add integers. So let's go ahead and jump right into example number one. <clears throat> example number one. First one is three plus negative nine. So you're adding two, three, a negative nine. So when you add something that's negative on the number line, if this is zero, this is three. So this is where I'm starting. Okay, when you're adding not positive nine, because if you add positive nine, it would go this way. But since you're adding negative nine, you're actually gonna go this way. So you're gonna go this way to the left, nine, right? So if I go here from here, nine, I'm gonna end up at negative six. So your answer is negative six. But the way we get there is three plus negative nine is the same as three minus nine, okay? If you have a plus and a negative, it becomes negative, so I get negative here, okay? So three minus nine, so I'm going three backwards to the left nine, and I'm gonna get negative six. So from here to here is three, here to here is six, so that total is nine. I moved it nine to the left, okay? Second one says minus five plus three. So this is plus three. So we're just add, we're adding, right? So I go, this is zero and I have negative five. I'm starting at negative five, I'm adding three. So I'm gonna go this way, three. If I go this way, three, I end up at negative two, okay? So this is gonna be negative two. And so in actually, actuality, what did you do? So you have a negative and a positive, or you have a positive and a negative. You added the numbers, you subtracted the numbers, and if I had a more of a negative, it became negative. Again, if I, I'm gonna add the two numbers, then I'm subtracting the numbers. So I have three and nine, if I subtract them, I get six. But since I have a greater negative, it becomes negative six, okay? So if you flip the page, on top of page 30, there's a little box there that actually goes through that for you. So if it's the same sign, you add the absolute values and then use the common sign. In other words, if I have the same sign, okay, so if I have two plus five, okay, this is, just seven, I add the, the two values and I use the common sign here, which is positive. If I have negative two minus five, I have the same sign, negative, negative. Again, I add the two and the five, I get seven and the common sign is negative, okay? So if I have negative six, negative 10, I have a negative and a negative, right? They're the same sign. So I add the six and the 10, get 16, and I use the common sign negative, okay? Again, so if I have negative 19 minus 40, right? Then I would, since so I have a negative and a negative, I would add the two together, which is 59, and I would use the common sign, which is negative. The flip side is if I have 28 plus 40, okay, again, I have the same sign here. So I add these two, 68, and we positive. Okay. So that's if I have the same sign. Okay. If I have a different sign, okay, if I have a different sign, let's say I have negative 9 plus 10. I have a different sign here, okay? So then I would subtract the two, go one. Now the question is whether it's positive or negative. 
Well, the larger one had a positive, so it's positive. Okay, negative five plus seven. Different sign, negative and positive, right? So I would subtract the two, which is two, and I have the positive side is larger, so it would be like this. If I had negative eight plus five, and now I have a negative here and a positive are different signs, so I subtract eight from five to get three. If I look at the two, this one is a larger number and the larger number had a negative, so it's going to be a negative. Negative 20 plus 15. What do I have here? I have 20 and I have a negative and a positive with different signs. So I subtract from 20, 15, which is 5. Now I check to see which one had the larger number. So the larger number was 20 and that sign was negative. So it's going to be a negative. Okay. So that's that. And then there's third, it's what's called the opposite. And that's if you have the same numbers, right? This is the same as positive, negative. So it's a negative. So in other words, if I have negative one plus one, I would add the side of different numbers. So I add I have different signs. So I add them together. I would normally add them together, but I, I don't here. So because I have negative one plus one, they're the same numbers, right? I have to subtract them. Okay, never mind. Start over. Different signs, so I have to subtract one from one, I get zero. Okay, there is no positive or negative zero here. Okay, again, if I have minus 15 plus 15, since I have different signs, I subtract 15 from 15, I get zero. It's zero, okay? So this is what we call the opposite, okay? So we call it the opposite. All right, let's see if we can do some examples here. Example number two. A, find the sum of negative 54 plus negative 28. Okay, positive negative is negative. Same sign, they're the same sign, which means what? I have to add these two together. 54 plus 28 is 82. And since the same sign is negative, your answer is negative. If you look at B, is uh, 38 plus minus 17. Plus negative, so it's going to be negative 38 minus 17. So different signs, this is plus, this is negative. So I subtract out, I get 21. And this one, which is positive, has a larger number. So it's going to be positive 21. Okay, that's example number two. Example number three. To answer the question about the position of a school, okay, find the sum of this, negative four plus negative 72 plus 61. Okay, so let's do this part here first. You're gonna get negative four plus or minus, so it's negative 72 plus 61. Gonna add these two numbers together, they are negative and negative, so I add the two together. Be 76, but then I use the common sign plus 61. Now I have a negative and a positive, so I'm going to subtract it. 76 minus 61, I get 15, right? And the larger number has a negative, so it's going to be negative 15. 
Last but not least, let's see if I can do example number four. Example number four, I have evaluate the expression when x is equal to negative 22, y is equal to negative 12, and a, I want to evaluate x plus minus nine. So let's do that. So x, I'm going to put that guy in here, negative 22 plus negative nine. Plus minus is going to be minus, so minus 22 minus 9. I have a situation where I have the same signs. So I'm going to add these two together. 22 plus 9 is 31. The common sign was negative, so it's negative. B, B is x plus 17 plus y. So it would be x is negative 22 plus 17, y was negative 12. So let's do this part here first. I have a negative and a positive, so I'm going to subtract the numbers, which is going to be 5. 22 minus 17 is 5. The negative number was larger, so this is going to be a negative number. Over here, I'm going to have plus or minus, so it's going to be minus 12. I have the same signs, so I'm going to add these two numbers together. And the common sign was negative. Okay, so that's how that works. So let's go ahead. Let me see what time we're at. We started at 2 30, 45. So why don't I give you guys a five minute break and we'll come back in five minutes to start working on our homework. So take a five minute break.